you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Delilah's a good person. She's good people. Uh, the map doesn't really have much new. Yeah, just like that path. I probably should attach those points. But I probably should go to Wapiti Meadow, I think. I don't know. Oops. I can't ask about this note, apparently. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve, it's your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when he saw Chimney Rock having himself in that havoc? Hammock? I'm trying to think before his service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Just... Just a rock. Okay. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. I well, can't take it, though, so... Alright. Okay, so I came from that way. I think I need to go to Wapiti Meadow, because I think that's more towards the lake. I think. What is... Oh. Just broken... Jump, uh, broken... Oh no! Hey, smoke! I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Map updated. Oh, all the way down there? God damn. Okay. So let's poke it with, with PT Meadow. See what's over there. Because, I don't know. I feel like there's probably more to explore that way than there is down this way. Well, I could be wrong. No, we don't need to keep pulling up the radio. Oh, there's a fence. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? No. Uh. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Okay, so I guess I can't go to a PT meadow. So we'll just go south. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Well, I'm glad we're in agreement. It's weird and it goes all the way around the freaking place. Yeah, alright. So, I guess I'm going south then. That's fine. Got stuff to explore. 
I mean, I think most of the exploration so, is. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Can I talk about the burning tree? Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. Keep going south. I think I want to attach a repelling point to the uh, the wrong way, just so I have it. Oh no. Okay. Oh, my computer's flipping out a little bit. Oh no! Please don't. Please cooperate. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> I think this is the wrong way, though. Yep. That's okay. I have it to attach now. Although that means... I can go down past Cripple Gulch now, if I really want to. Oh, no, I have to. Yeah, all right. That's why they gave me the ropes. I guess I need to go the proper way. It's very convenient, there's a lot of identical chunks of rock that I could climb and jump down in this place. Nature's very convenient like that. Likes keeping things consistent. Top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. I think I'd want to go that way, just because that would get me down to Five Mile Creek faster. But let's toss this on here real quick. Shortcuts are always good. Musical interlude like popped up right then, but it was very lovely. Oop. That's a one way. All right. Oh. Oh, that's the path I was trying to go up. Okay. I guess I have to clear it up if I want to go up that way, but I can go down it. Cool. Yeah. 
Here's the same box. Do they change? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So luckily it should be a straight shot. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now I'm trying to hunt down some vandals and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. Oh. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Aww. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Luckily, this is a good rope. Good, strong, solid rope. I say that while I'm waiting for it to break, but I think they wouldn't do that again. God, that's a hell of a climb down. Be a hell of a climb up, honestly. Yeah, so now we need to go down there and down there. I'm still wondering, there's that little, like... I know we explored part of there, but there's part that I can't get to that I'm very curious about. But I think we'll have to save that for another time. We need to take care of these insane teenage vandals. Because they've kind of gone overboard. You know, all I did was tell him to stop shooting out fireworks. Which, I mean, I was supposed to do because they're going to start a fucking forest fire. We can't have that. Let's see. Okay, there's a cache, and then just somewhere down there. I don't know, it's just kind of fun to take some pictures. <laughs> I don't think there's really a point to it, but it's just nice. It's a fun little feature. Oh, missing persons. Alright, let's get the map info. I mean, really, it's not super important, because the trails are kind of obvious anyway, but it's kind of nice. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. 
It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Hey, you're the one telling me to explore, alright? No need for that sort of sass. I'm curious what's down south there, but I pretty clear we need to go to that tent. Nope. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? What? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? That's also, really cool. Uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okay. Nope, another musical cue. Get shot with some of the. There we go. Lots of birds. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Very pretty. They definitely did a good job making uh, the nature trail feel very, very pretty to wander through. My God. Oop. What? Oh, okay. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Yeah. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I would love to, like... This looks nice. Shallow, but nice. Whoa! Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Okay, that's... a little weird. Nope. North. Alright. I might have missed clues. I was too busy looking at vistas. Nope. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Right? Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. have entered the teen zone. <laughs> oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Pants are back. Good to know. Huh. Pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? <laughs> yeah, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine. It's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? <laughs> okay. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. You have very floral print sheets. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What? On <laughs> Earth, you... It's another one of those magazines. Hunks, hunks, hunks. Tame your hunk. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. <laughs> well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. 
<laughs> These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I mean, yeah, from all the things I've picked up, how do they have a whole case still? Like, god damn, they've been busy. I believe the day ends when I actually look at the rest of the campsite, so I want to see if there's any secrets. Nope. Okay. Oh, okay. Surprise. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Can I? Well, it looks like I can't actually take their stuff. Should I take a picture of... I should probably save my pictures, because I've only got 12 left. Gonna little hog wild. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever. And tell them about how you creeped us on us on the lake, then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Ah, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it's worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. Wow, okay. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's been a pretty crazy two days. Hopefully day three is a little more calm. Because I'm horribly superficial. Who's Rolly Fingers? Do you know Rolly Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mmm. Now you have my attention. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. 
Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Um, uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? Huh, I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Eesh. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> Fine. I didn't realize that. Me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. To be fair, I don't remember what Henry looks like anyway. Um, cause... Oh, damn hats. Cause we saw him in the little sketch in the beginning, and I don't remember... I guess it could have changed since then. Why does everything get knocked over all the time? Put back, please. I'm gonna put the mug in my way. All right, mug, you're going down. May third. I think today's gonna be normal, although Delilah's having a hell of a time getting the communications wire fixed. Those girls, those girls did a real bang-up job fucking us over. A few days before I left, I got a call from Jules' dad. Realized I hadn't really talked to him over the past few years as much as, as much as I thought. I think I was so worried about getting Madeline on the phone whenever I would call that I just stopped calling altogether. This is the sort of thing writing all this stuff down is supposed to make me realize. Anyway, uh, Mick just wanted to see how I was doing and wanted to have me out and I appreciate it because he's got the ain't no worries bloke attitude but it doesn't feel right. I bet Madeline's been hard on him. God damn. Here's something else I realized. Jules liked my parents. She liked them both, but they didn't stop her from laying into me with the, You're acting like your father. I realize now that I love the parts of her that she got from Mick, and the parts of her that she got from Madeline scared the living shit out of me. Except for the whole looks department. No doing, denying she looked out there. Alright, let's fix this window. I'm a little sad I didn't read the first one, but I think I at least recorded it, so worst case scenario, you guys can, like, pause it. You are just one pound per nail, all right. You are an aggressive window fixer. Also, that's still going to be drafty as hell. Up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. I think at this point I could technically like wander around the whole camp and like just explore places again. I've seen most of it. I could explore down on the Ruby River if I really wanted to, or like the Thoroughfare Trail. Because 
she essentially gives you that okay of like, yeah, you know, just do whatever. I don't think that's really necessary. I could poke at that stuff down there, but I think I'm ready to work. Things have been a little hectic. Might be good to calm down a bit. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Actually, I think if I really wanted to wander, I could do that. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. <laughs> 